covering the villages for you. Here's Jill Winters and the VNN Lifestyle News Team. Residents visit a town square for some exercise fun, and resident performers are excited for their next production. Temperatures were a bit brisk Tuesday morning, but residents quickly warmed up during a Zoomathon on the square at Lake Sumter Landing Market Square. Community Fun is headed your way later this week. The 2023 Spanish Springs Heritage Festival will begin with a resident parade 3 p.m. Friday in and around the town square. These parades are always entertaining. The festival will continue with local resident lifestyle groups scheduled to make appearances throughout the event that's going to end at 9 p.m. Don't miss the Brussels Sprouts Band, Sounds of Scotland, the Village's Cheerleaders, the Village's Twirlers and Drum Corps, and Hula Ohana. Just like they offered at last week's Heritage Festival in Brownwood, you can take part in the Passport Challenge. If you get there early, just visit the information tent to receive a passport to carry around to the different vendors so you can collect stamps. If you collect four or more stamps as you travel throughout the festival, you can take that right back to that information tent for a free, limited edition commemorative Heritage Festival pin while supplies last. <laughs> After this short break, we're going to take you inside a theater group's rehearsal. Woohoo! I'm Daria here with your recreation rundown. Looking to see some good ladies water volleyball play? Stop by Izell Sports Pool on Thursday, October 12th, starting at 11 a.m. to watch the ladies keep the ball out of the water and over the net.
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. from Lake Sumter Landing in a small building with big windows near the water. AM 640, 102.7 and 104.5 FM. Your soundtrack to the villages. WVLG Wildwood. This is VNN. The Villages Theater Company has been rehearsing for its next production called Sinners. Let's check in now with Judy Pryor, the Villages Theater Company's president, for even more about this show and her group. It's a hilarious comedy written by Norm Foster, who is known as the Canadian Neil Simon. And we have done many of his plays over the years, and this play is really, really funny. It sounds like, you know, it's a naughty play, but it's really hysterically funny. Yes, there's some shenanigans going on, and it's just silly fun. Well, we have a wonderful, wonderful group of people, and we're always looking for new people to come in. We especially like people who don't want to act, <laughs> because we need to have people behind the scenes, building the set, helping with costumes, helping with, um, uh, putting on microphones, helping with hospitality, and we have over 200 members. I would say we have about 60 active members, you know, including the ushers, the people who build the sets. You know, it, it takes the villages to build, <laughs> to make this um, group successful. We sold out almost every uh, play last year, and we do four plays a year, um, three comedies in one summer drama, the summer drama is only open to village residents because we do not rent the facility. But the other three, the comedies that we build a set on the stage are open to the general public. Don't miss this play. It's really, really funny. And we, st we have about 235 seats still available. So don't wait, because they may be all gone before you know it. You can catch the theater company's presentation of Sinners 7 p.m. Friday, October 21st through Monday, October 23rd and Mulberry Grove Recreation. Get your tickets by visiting thevillagestheatercompany.com. Proceeds from their shows are distributed to area charities. Judy says since 2014, they have given away $209,000. Here's your VNN five-day weather. From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five-day forecast. Rainy conditions continue on Thursday, looking at 80% chance of showers throughout the day. Friday showers likely at 50%, and then on Saturday, more rain, 60% chance of showers. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-80s with overnight lows in the mid-70s. Marilyn and Steve Moselle were professional opera singers, and now this Village of Charlotte couple are the leaders of the Vespians, or Village Vespian Theater Group. We're giving them whatever we can that, that we know about stagecraft in, in all forms. They act, of course, they, they write some of the plays, uh, some once in a while they direct, uh, a little of everything, yeah. and uh, they just want to give the uh, theatrical experience. And uh, over the last five years, they've uh, really grown, and it's been wonderful, because this, this is an ensemble company, meaning we use many of the same people over and over in various roles. In fact, in the next production we're doing, 
were using them in various uh, plays along the way. There's about 10 different plays that we're going to present, For, and in, they're in a lot of different roles. Right. In the For plays. No, he's talking about what we're doing in November. Mm -hmm. So right. It's called Village Vignettes 4, a command performance. It involves all the aspects of theater, so it's not just what the audience sees, but also what the audience feels behind the scenes that go on in order to be able to put on a production. It's much more complicated than just getting up there and talking. Uh, so all those aspects go into it, and uh, that's what we're struggling to to produce because we use whatever spaces the village gives us. It may be a, a card room, it may be a large room, it, it may even be a stage. Or here. Or here, outside, you never know. Uh, but we'll produce usually two productions a year. Um, one in coming up in November, this village vignettes four, and also then one in the spring, and the spring one is a fundraiser, usually for the honor flight, the village's honor flight. And uh, the auditions are open anytime they're interested in coming in, and uh, we'll take a look at them. And uh, as I said, it's an ensemble company, so we have to have material for them that is written already that they could fit into. Um, all levels are welcome. We have people that have done this a lot, and people that are just starting out and doing things for the first time. So uh, everything is possible. If you would like to see the Village Vignettes for Command Performance, that's going to be presented at 3 p.m. November 21st and November 28th at Hibiscus Recreation. You can reserve your tickets for that show ahead of time by going to thevespians.live. A resident chorus is ready to present its fall concert next week. The Village Voices will be presenting I Hear America Singing Tuesday inside North Lake Presbyterian Church. Director John Lowe says this is a nice way to showcase their very talented arrangers in the chorus, as they are fortunate to have, in addition to singers, good instrumentalists and arrangers. This 100-member chorus has 12 instrumentalists, and they will cover various genres in their fall concert, including pop, light classical, and sacred. Tickets are $20 available only at thevillagevoicescorus.org. I Hear America Singing will be presented 6 p.m. Tuesday at North Lake Presbyterian Church. You can learn more about these three musical groups in the Arts and Culture section in Wednesday's Daily Sun. Up next, high schoolers dive into a new pool. If you get a hearing test, you should also have what's called speech and noise testing. Most of our patients will tell you they have trouble understanding people when there's a lot of ambient noise. So if I don't test you in noise, how do I quantify your handicap? How do I pick the right technology to overcome that? So speech and noise is a big part of our test, but guess what? It takes two minutes. It's simple, it's effective, it's scientific. We do it, I'm happy to report that. The other thing that's huge is a cognitive health screen. We know that untreated hearing loss damages the brain. It alters structures of the brain. Well, if I put hearing devices on you and I get the signal to the brain, but the brain is changed, right, that impacts how well the treatment works. So when I screen cognition, when we screen cognition, we get this information about uh, three different domains of your cognitive health, and then we test you again in four months, right? So I treat your hearing loss, you go through your adaptation and your rehab process, you come back in four months and I put you back on that device. And guess what? We're seeing improvements in memory and executive function. So not only do we listen to your problem and treat it effectively, we're also really big about outcomes and, and validating them. This hurricane preparedness tip from VNN and WVLG is brought to you by The Villages Insurance. Hi, this is WVLG staff forecaster Christopher James. 
our furry friends need to be cared for during a hurricane as well. So what is the best approach? Create a pet survival kit and include for your cat, spare litter pan, cleaning wipes, and trash bags for waste disposal. Create or purchase a pet first aid kit. You can buy kits at most pet stores, big box stores, or online. If you prefer to make your own, be sure it contains the following. Gauze pads, adhesive tape, cotton balls and swabs, fresh 3% hydrogen peroxide, ice pack, disposable gloves, scissors, tweezers, antibiotic ointment, syringe or turkey baster, liquid dishwashing soap for bathing, towels, flashlight, styptic powder, saline eye solution. Make sure you have an evacuation plan for pets. Don't place multiple pets in one crate during a stressful time, even if they normally get along. The only exception is a nursing mother with babies. Confine small pets such as birds and hamsters away from cats and dogs. Predetermine a safe location and evacuation route. Know your nearest pet-friendly shelter and hotel ahead of time. Do not allow your pets to drink from puddles or eat unknown food. Keep listening for more information, including supplies, pet tips, and detailed information to keep on hand during hurricane season, presented by The Village's Insurance. And thanks for listening to Your Village's Soundtrack, WVLG. The Villages High School swimming coach Jackie Mitchell and her team have been eagerly anticipating the chance to swim at their new pool at the VHS Aquatic Center at its Middleton campus. Monday was their very first practice at that state-of-the-art pool, and everyone cheered loudly for Coach Mitchell to take the plunge from one of the diving boards. I don't know if I've been so excited for something in such a long time. And I speak for everybody who worked so hard so hard to get this pool on going and it is just glorious and I and all of your coaches could not be more proud to have you guys enter the water today. We were all chanting her name and to see the excitement on her face was just amazing because they are all amazing coaches and we love them so much. It is a gorgeous pool and we've been waiting for this and we are so grateful for everybody who helped make it happen. It felt so good to be able to jump into it. It is ginormous. It's the biggest pool like, like I've ever seen other than the district pool. And with the diving boards too, and it's amazing. And I don't think we've ever really swim in a, swim in a pool like this and been able to jump off the boards too, which we got to do today. I'm hoping for an amazing senior meet. I'm hoping that we win and I believe that we can because we, I love my teammates and they work so hard. And we have bleachers now and more people can come watch us. And I know that means a lot to me and everybody on the team. I'm so grateful to be here and to be able to swim in this amazing pool. This pool has eight lanes and it is split vertically into two halves. One side is 25 meters long and the other is 25 yards long. The water is temperature controlled and there are nine rows of bleachers with a green shade awning overhead. The Buffalo Senior Day is 4.30 p.m. Thursday, marking the team's very first meet held at the VHS Middleton Campus Pool. Last week, students at the Village's High School celebrated Spirit Week. The school kept up with its annual traditions from dressing up in their pajamas to attending a pep rally ahead of the varsity football game. Last Wednesday, females in the junior and senior class took the H.G. Morse range as they faced off during the Powder Puff game. The juniors wore blue jerseys while the seniors wore black. The seniors dominated the line of scrimmage and stifled the juniors' offense, earning three interceptions and a safety to get the victory. Senior Emily Johnson had a 30-yard catch and several times she was close to scoring. Emily says Spirit Week is really fun and it's an honor to put on a show on the field because no other girls sports team have been able to play on the new field yet. Players on the football team served as coaches and helped the girls prepare. This tradition also included boys cheering the girls on. The boys squad called themselves the Silver Studs. The Silver Studs also did a performance in front of the entire school at the homecoming pep rally while the school's Golden Girls and cheerleaders also got the student body excited. And at halftime of Friday's game, Josh Capega was crowned homecoming king and Jessica Aguilar was named homecoming queen. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Village's lifestyle news is coming up right after this on VNN.
When you visit Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two for one happy hour and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday, and we love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. Going on now at Cart World Golf Cars, the summer clearance. All new 2023 club cars and garrias must go. Buy now and save big. Model year and discounts up to $1,250. Whether you're in the market for a two, four, or six seater with gas, electric, or lithium power, Cart World has it. There's never been a better time to buy. Hurry, don't miss out. When these cars are gone, so are these prices. Golan Kanan is visiting family in the villages, and he was planning to return home to Israel this weekend. But those plans are now on hold after attacks Saturday by Hamas on Israel. He worries about his friends, saying many of them have been already called up for military reserve duty in Israel. He says it hurts a great deal. Golan was one of 100 people who gathered Tuesday at Chabad Lubavitch Jewish Center of Ocala, the villages in Tri-County in Oxford for a special vigil for Israel in the wake of the ongoing conflict. Rabbi Yoshi Hetch shared a message he received from a friend who moved to Israel with his family and has since been called up for military reserve duty. That message was they will be successful at disarming the pure evil that has attacked Israel and around the world. Rabbi Hetch says they are broken but not defeated, adding Israel will live on forever. They pray for peace in our Holy Land and around the world. For more on this story, take a look at the front page of Wednesday's Daily Sun. If you love canines, the Dynamic Dog Club just might be for you. This group is filled with members that share an interest in and a love of dogs. Their main purpose is to build resources and come up with various dog-related activities to keep their furry friends happy and healthy, while the humans can also make some friendships too. Dogs can help people in a number of ways, such as through the club's literacy program. They go to schools and libraries to improve the reading experience for youth. To learn even more about this group and how you and your pup can get involved, you can visit dynamicdogclub.com. It's time now for a brief commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More Village's Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Your Village's soundtrack is here for you throughout hurricane season and severe weather season. Pedalia, now a Category 4 hurricane. This WVLG hurricane update is brought to you by Villages Insurance. Please listen carefully. And we're also going to be joined by our forecasters, Dave Toll and Christopher James. If you take a look at your home here in the villages, that's getting almost two-thirds of the way the up rainfall towards the in the villages between one and four inches. And the wind speeds we expect going between 30 and 40 miles an hour during the brunt of the storm. This hurricane update, we have the information you need when you need it. Stay tuned to WVLG. Hearing loss doesn't have to be this painful. 
we can help. Take our seven day free trial. Elite Hearing Centers of America, from hearing problems to hearing solutions. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. The Village's Entertainment brings bands to the squares and Sawgrass Grove seven days a week, and in October, we're seeing a lot of new groups. Here are some of our newest bands. Acoustic duo One Drum will be at Sawgrass on October 15th. Sandra and Alex LaKid, who have been performing for over 10 years across the Middle East, will be bringing their sound to Sawgrass Grove October 18th. Five-piece Southern rock group Mitchell Clavins will be at Lake Scepter Landing on October 20th and Brownwood Paddock Square October 31st. Originally from Brazil, ZR Band will bring family-friendly hits from all eras to Brownwood Paddock Square on October 23rd. And finally, Them Sweeney Boys are bringing some comedy in a concert style to Sawgrass Grove October 24th. You can find more information on all bands that come to Spanish Springs Town Square, Lake Sumter Landing Market Square, Brownwood Paddock Square, and Sawgrass Grove at thevillagesentertainment.com. Join me next time. We're traveling around the world with ticketed and special events. That's your entertainment, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. If you enjoy free musical entertainment, well, The Villages is the place for you. These are the bands scheduled to play Thursday night. That's all the news we have for you now. Pick up a copy of Thursday's Daily Sun to learn about a new Villages Halloween event. Keep embracing the Villages active adult lifestyle. Luxury awaits you at the new Jenkins Volvo Cars Ocala. Come see the full line of Volvo vehicles at Central Florida's premier Volvo dealer. Right now at Jenkins, get attractive offers on new Volvo XC60s or choose a $7,500 lease bonus on all recharge pure electrics. Jenkins offers free pickup and delivery for service and we can get you out of your current vehicle up to six months early. 
luxury awaits you at the new Jenkins Volvo Cars Ocala on 441 North.